In this video, we will show our laparoscopic single side nephrectomy technique based on the latest Storz Endocon, the S Portal. The operative table is moved to put the patient into the dorsal supine position and a mini 5 cm laparotomy is performed for the insertion of the endocon. The fascia is fixed with a 2-0 vicryl suture. In order to achieve a safer placement of the endocon, we use an Alexis small wound retractor. After the placement of the trockers, the patient is rolled for a total of 60 degrees. In our procedures, a combination of bent forceps and conventional straight laparoscopic instruments is used. The instruments are inserted through one of the 5 mm channel and through the 12 mm channel of the last port. During the performance of radical nephrectomy, the line of thought is incised to the level of the iliac. Then, the psoas muscle is identified and the colon is reflected medially. An incision of the splenocolic ligament follows in order to mobilize the spleen along with the colon and pancreas. The bent forceps, held in the left hand, are used to expose the tissue. The straight instrument in the right hand is used to dissect the tissue and to cut along the line of thought. During a laparoendoscopic single site radical nephrectomy, the sequence of steps is comparable to the standard laparoscopic radical nephrectomy technique. The middle portion of the ureter is identified medially to the psoas muscle. While mobilizing the ureter, the small vessels are sealed by ligature system. The gerotus fascia is now opened using laparoscopic ligature system to reduce blood loss from the renal fat and the lower pole of the kidney is mobilized. The spermatic vein is clipped and cut. The lower pole is lifted laterally and the helium is placed under gentle tension in order to prepare the vessels. The renal vein and the renal artery are identified. The lymphatic vessels are sealed using a laparoscopic ligature system. The renal vessels are prepared and then dissected with vascular endogeostaplers. In single port radical nephrectomy, the kidney is removed along with gerotus fascia, including the perirenal fat.
After control of the renal vessels, the upper pole is dissected. The ureter is clamped with 5 mm endoclips and cut by a ligature. Mobilization of the upper pole takes place using the same technique as with the lower pole and the kidney is released. Using the bigger part of the endocon, an endo catch bag is introduced into the abdominal cavity. For specimen removal, the rectus facet incision is extended in a cranial and caudal direction and the intact specimen is removed through the umbilicus without mercilation. No drainage catheter is placed. The fascia is then closed with interrupted 2-0 vicral suture and the skin is approximated with an intracutaneous suture.